Hey you guys, welcome back to the channel. This video is about a classic and an OG pair of jeans, the Levi's 501. Now, if you guys have checked out my channel and you're returning, you probably have checked out the video for 511, which is my favorite cut of denim. However, that might change after this one. So let's take a look at what the OG 501's like. I have had a Levi's in my jeans collection about so many times but I've never really got a 501 which is the OG fit. I've tried their boot cut which I think is used to be 513 and 511 has always been my favorite one. I had a bit of a time to figure out what works for me uh, and 511 seemed to work for me for most of my preferences for shoes because I think denim is really really something that uh, has to complement the shoe as for my personal liking I love a particular look and I think the denim with the shoe if that is uh, you know placed correctly the entire outfit then falls together seamlessly so I've always looked for that perfect length and the perfect waist and 511 in 32x30 is my latest fixation I've made the video about that so I'll link it here if you wanted to check that one out as well uh, but moving on to this beautiful 501 and I'm so happy that I got this I was on the fence for a while I always thought that this is gonna be probably baggier than what it is and I'm just like super happy because this is a classic classic straight cut and it does not you know fall into the relaxed sort of category like the jeans that I'm wearing from Oakenfort the one that I got from Zara previously they say that they are straighter cuts but their bottoms are too flared so which is nice which is also an aesthetic uh, and I love uh, you know to have uh, versatility in my wardrobe so this was a banger when I finally tried this on and as you can see I got the color which is on point which is something that is again a 90s minimalist kind of a shade this is a proper gray like a you know very dated looking very monochromatic very um, stony sort of light gray and I don't have this color in the denim in my wardrobe so I'm, I was looking for this in particular and I had a plan to try out a 501 in this however these colors uh, always seem to evade me because when I tried to buy them I could not find the one that was perfectly like this which was light gray but not like too uh, too much black going on in it and you know uh, neither did I want something that had a fade so I love monochromatic uh, denim my channel is also about minimalism so you know all my denim fits like even the one that I'm wearing now is uh is super monochrome um and this one's from oak and Ford, by the way um so i love such shades my 511 is also such a shade maybe it's a bit darker than this shade of blue um and it sort of clicked all my boxes so i wanted to check this out now when i did open this up uh, i was really really happy with the uh, clean you know shade of it in person because I picked it up from the pictures on the Levi's side also I link it down below the color I think is called the stereo and uh, you can still find it on the Levi's Canada sh uh, shop as well so you can check this out there now a couple of things that I instantly uh, like about this pair and comparing it to also 511 vaguely which I can do a more detailed review later on but initial uh, impressions is the waist is absolutely true 32 is my waist in 511 and this one is also 32 x 30 length which I again is the new discovery of mine which I love because um, I usually used to wear a 32x32 and some of my denim is still 32x32 that helps me to stack them much better um, however 32x30 on the length really gives me that single fold uh, you know uh, on the on the fold 
on my ankle and um, it also appears cropped but I'm able to still roll it up and somehow make it work. It works great with denim uh, over boots and you know it falls very nicely on the YSL one. It works great with common projects because that's my overall go-to sneaker and I think that it works decent with the uh, slides as well. So this is very very versatile. I think 5-on-1 the fit is super versatile. Now the other thing about 501 is that uh, they make them in a ton of uh, different colors but they also make them with some stretch. This pair that I picked up happens to be the one that has 1% stretch in it. Now I'm not a denim nerd or a denim head to that extent that I care if there's stretch and you know if it's only 100% uh, cotton it has to be 501 has to be 100% cotton. I'm not there yet maybe someday in the future but for now I think that stretch really really helps this uh, in the comfort section. It's not a heavy stretch the, the denim doesn't feel like a stretchy one it feels like a rigid solid 100 cotton because it's 99% cotton with 1% elastane so the stretch is just enough when you you know have flexion in your knees or your pockets and it just makes it overall nice. My other uh, 511 has a bit more stretch than this so now I think I like this better than that and then coming on to the overall fit of this like when I look at it from the waist and the hip area I think it's really really uh, something that I like about uh, clothing uh, always which accentuates your form and you know fits you well rather than going for a trend that's either super skinny or a trend that's trending right now which is super relaxed uh, you know baggier fits which is all cool but for a permanence of style I always prefer something that's classic and don't think that things get any more classic than a 150 year old pair of Levi's denim. Now of course this is a modernized pair and the 1% stretch I think is a smart thing to do and if you care about um, you know being pure to the tradition 100% cotton is also available in most shades but it wasn't in this one so I'm really happy that I chose this um, and the other thing I love is also the way this um, you know button closure is compared to the zipper on the 511 I always like button closure on denim I also happen to have some other denims that have a button closure and I think the area around your crotch develops more uh, naturally as opposed to a zip because the zip is super symmetrical so this will conjure to my hip uh, section very well 32 on this one fits as perfect as I could imagine so I'm really happy on that one as well um, the shade itself um, I, I love a 90s minimalist aesthetic I am going to probably try to do more with that I would also got a pair of loafers that's coming in so stick around uh, and I'm gonna it's an essence pickup and it's gonna be revealed here soon so if you like that I think this such pair of denim can be really really versatile and you know be used with a different array of footwear that I hold or like you know if you have similar style then uh, you know modularity versatility and use is something that I'm always looking for rather than getting a garment just to style once so longevity is also on uh, one of my priorities now as a closing remark what would I say about 501 I think uh, I'm highly impressed I am late to the game um, but happy that I've arrived 501 is absolutely classic it's a true straight fit it does not be a relaxed fit or a slimmer fit or a tapered fit it's a classic straight fit and 150 years later uh, you own a pair and you suddenly realize uh, this is as uh, timeless as a piece can get. So I'm going to probably be looking uh, more into 501s and probably get a black and a white pair. A white pair, probably vintage, I don't know. Um, it could be nice to have a, a 501, you know, basic stack. Say a white, a grey and a black and then you know move from there so let me know your thoughts on why you love 501 if you are here probably if you were buying it for the first time did it help you this video or just overall your experience with 501 um, I think it's almost at par in my liking with the 511 so hopefully I may 
not switch sides but uh, it appears to be I might so on that note I gonna leave you uh, with this if you love to follow me on Instagram get in touch with me it's at uno minimalist uh, and do check out my other content leave this video a like and thanks latest bye bye